So we've been studying density, and as we've been studying density, uh, we've been talking about um, the um, that density is a measure of basically how much matter there is in a given uh, volume of, of a substance. And so we can think about that by uh, thinking about a little 3D box and uh, that looks, you know, we've seen this, you guys sketched it a little bit, and, uh, and so we have, you know, how many grams, if you will, of matter are in this, you know, volume of substance, you know, whether it's a, a square, rectangular, square, whatever it might be. So, so as we're starting to think about matter, you know, why do, here's some questions that we need to think about. Why do um, different substance, substances have different densities? And we've seen this in the FET lab. Uh, we didn't talk about what the substances were, but the boxes all had different, um, you know, they had different uh, densities. And then what do atoms have to do with the density of a substance? So as, as we actually begin to study the structure of matter in atoms, uh, we're actually thinking about density. It, it really is all about density. So let's read these two, these first two paragraphs, and then we'll mark them. And uh, if I have any comments, I'll make them, uh, and then we'll uh, and then we'll move on to the other the other paragraphs uh, that we need to read as we're starting to um, to study matter and atoms. So look around you: a desk, a rock, a jelly donut, your finger, and the school board building all have something in common. They are all examples of matter. We understand matter by thinking about how much space matter takes up, which is its volume, and how much it weighs, or its mass. So when we compare the mass of a substance to its volume, when we think about how many grams there are in a given volume of a substance, um, we're thinking about its density. So we understand density to be how much matter is actually packed into the volume of an object. So let's make sure we get um, volume circled, the word volume circled in red, and also the word mass circled in red, and the word density circled in red. And then if you'd pick up your, um, if you would pick up your, your green, uh, your green marker, or your green colored pencil, um, let's look at um, where would the where would the description of what volume is be and of course it's um, how much space matter takes up and so you're going to put a little link bullet to there and then what about mass well mass is actually how much the matter weighs or how much what it measures in mass and then when we're thinking about density density is actually how much matter can be packed into a given volume of a substance. And so we're going to link those right there. Okay? And so then, um, so then the, next, uh, the next paragraph reads like this. Do you remember that all matter is made up of tiny particles or pieces that are too small to be seen with the human eye? These tiny particles are called what? That's right. They're called atoms. So we can circle that right now, get that circled. One thing that helps us to understand matter and density is to think about an atom's mass and how tightly atoms are packed in a substance. So what is an atom and how should we think about atoms? All right, so please uh, take your, your green colored pencil and let's, uh, let's so these tiny particles, um, I think uh, if you're looking for uh, description of that all matter is made up of tiny particles or pieces that are too small to be seen and so we're going to link that uh, let's let's come over here and we'll just link it right here so that statement has to do with what atoms are and then there is kind of an important statement that we want to make sure that we remember and that we use here and so we're going to mark this in blue and that statement is um, is this one right here. 
Uh, it helps us to understand matter and density by thinking about how an atom's mass, by thinking about an atom's, an atom's mass and how tightly atoms are packed into a substance. So again, if we want to think about how to understand this, you know, we're, we're looking at this, at this picture right here. How tightly, you know, how packed, you can just make a little note here, you could draw this little sketch, how packed are the atoms in any given uh, substance? How tightly are they packed? And that tells us the density. And then the question is, what do atoms have to do with this density? Okay, so um, if you haven't marked these two paragraphs, why don't you uh, pause and you could go back and, uh, and mark the paragraph if you haven't. And then when you come back, we'll take a look at the other two, um, at the other two, uh, at the other four paragraphs.